Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. Today we shall do example number 13 of class 10th math, chapter 5, arithmetic progression. How many terms of the AP? AP means arithmetic progression. 24, 21, 18 and so on must be taken so that their sum is 78. So we need to find out how many terms do we need in this AP so that when we add all these terms like 24 plus 21 plus 18 and how many more terms do we need so that we get 78. So what is given? The first term A is given as 24. The common difference D we can find out by subtracting 21 minus 24 or 18 minus 21 whichever you want and that is equal to minus 3. The sum is given as 78. We need to find out the number of terms. For this we will use the formula of sum Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1d. Now substitute these values here. Sn is 78 equals to n by 2 a is 24 plus n minus 1 d is minus 3. Simplify this. 78 is equal to n by 2. 2 into 24 is 48 plus multiply minus 3 to n and minus 1. So minus 3 into n is minus 3 n minus minus becomes plus. So this is plus 3. 78 equals to n by 2, 48, take these out of the bracket, so that will be minus 3n plus 3, 78 is equal to n by 2, 48 plus 3 is 51, so 51 minus 3n, take 2 to the other side, 78 into 2. 8 2 is a 16, 1, 14, 156. So 156 is equal to n 51 minus 3n. Open up the bracket 51n minus 3n squared. Now take these two terms to the other side. So this will be 3n squared minus 51n plus 156 is equal to 0. Now we need to find out the factors of this. So first we will divide all the terms by 3. Divide all the terms by 3 because 3 is a common factor. So n squared 51 divided by 3 is uh, 17. 17 times 3 is 15. So 17 for this one we need to do 156. 3 5 are 15. 6. 3 2 is 6. So that is 50. 2 equals to 0. So you know how to factor it out right? We need two numbers which when added gives minus 17 and when multiplied gives 52. So the two numbers would be 13 and 4. 13 into 4 is 52. But then here we have a minus sign. So we will take minus 13 and minus 4. Because minus 13 into minus 4 is 52. And the sum is minus 17. So split the middle term. Minus 13n minus 4n plus 52 equals to 0. Now these two terms you take out the common factor. n minus 13 minus 4 is the common factor. And then we have n and this plus sign will become minus now. Because we have taken minus as a common factor. 13 equals 0 n minus 4 and n minus 13 right that means we are getting n as 4 or n as 13 so the number of terms would be 4 or 13 that means when we take 4 terms like it is given 24 plus 21 plus 18 the next term will be minus 3. So that's 15. When you add all these 4 numbers, you get 78. 
when you add these four terms you get 78 similarly when you take 13 terms and add the terms still you would get 78 you can try this one it is not required for this question but then if you want you can just try the next terms like in total there should be 13 terms add it up and see you will get 78 so your answer should be the number of terms is 4 or 13 the number of terms is 4 or 13 well that's all for now see you all in the next video